Okay, it's another really, really dark, gloomy day. It's only 9.49 a.m. now, almost 10 a.m. I'm watching a podcast and the air fryer is going. It's potatoes, like a golden potato. And then on the stove, I have, it's really dark, tomatoes. Okay, really quick, really short, what I got from Michael's. It's literally 9.25 a.m. And it's only really short because, where's our chopstick? That's kind of gross. Okay. Um, I just got these jewelry boxes because usually I buy them in bulk, but I didn't have time because my processing time for orders is, I literally just rolled out of bed. Um, my processing time for orders is like one to two days, so I don't really like have time for them to ship. It's literally freezing in here and outside, so I just have my coat on okay i have to package two orders and i just like you saw went to michael's and got these boxes <sighs> dude okay so i don't know if this is gonna sound weird but my i haven't like told my boyfriend like he knows that i do youtube i'm sorry this is so annoying should i shut it i kind of like it Anyways, so I, t I like he knows that I do YouTube, but I'm just like he's so supportive So this isn't like my boyfriend's so unsupportive kind of conversation He's just like very supportive and I'm I feel like blessed and happy and lucky that he is But I'm like conflicted because I didn't want to tell him my YouTube Like he knows that I did YouTube, but I didn't tell him like my channel name or anything because I didn't want him to know. Um, just because I get really shy and like if I'm gonna do this YouTube thing and like really be myself and my last vlog, I talked about the fear of being seen and it's just like, to be honest, like vlogging is really cringy. Like, can we just be honest? But I like doing cringy shit like if the cringy thing is fun and not harmful i love it i don't know like vlogging making content it's fun right i just was like so shy so i didn't tell him my youtube name but i also didn't like hide it like it's in the my bio of like every social media i have he eventually found it yesterday but i feel like so he subscribed and now he like likes all my youtube videos and stuff which is like super supportive so it's like how could i even be mad but then i'm like but your boundary was crossed like you set a boundary and it was crossed like i would eventually tell him but i didn't want to yet until i got like super 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 comfortable you know what i mean Anyways, these are the jewelry boxes, and this is the shell that I'm going to be stamping. Okay, we're going to do a test. But yeah, and then also I was thinking, like, I was talking about, like, my fear of being seen and shit um, in my last vlog and how, like, my goals and, like, things that are fun to me that I want to do um doesn't really line up with the fear of being seen so i'm just fuck it so maybe this is a test from the universe like you said that you weren't afraid of being seen so now you're gonna be extra seen i don't know it's just a test from the universe and i'm gonna fucking pass it bitch hold on so you can see what i'm doing And these are all the boxes I have so far. And the pomegranate necklace that I showed you earlier. This is so pretty. I just love pomegranate. I can't wait to wear this for like summer right now. I don't really... I wear less jewelry in the winter than I do in the summer for some reason. Probably because in the winter I don't dress nice. I don't know how to dress nice in the winter. I get really overstimulated when I bundle up. So, yeah, I just don't dress nice in the winter, but in the summer, I'm always looking hot, it seems. And it's not even because I get tan, even though that's also it, but it's because 
this is so much better lighting i just opened my computer it's not even because i get tan it's literally just because i just wear dresses and um skirts in the summer and that's like like if you want to look put together and feel pretty but you don't want to put makeup on or do your hair that much like bare minimum but you still want to be like pretty if that makes sense or feel your best and the weather calls for it dresses and skirts my go-to all the time okay i'm gonna i'm gonna package these orders and then my boyfriend's gonna come home from the gym soon and we're gonna watch percy jackson the show it's fine for now i don't know i just feel like why can't like why is everything like children i feel like there should be a children version but there should also be like an adult version like percy jackson like you know the movie with logan is his name lerman logan lerman i don't even know the movie he's like way older but he's like a high schooler i want like college aged 30 year old 25 year old aged Percy Jackson I want like mid I want like gods fighting aggressively with swords and like magical I want like an adult Percy Jackson I love the movie the show is pretty good like the storyline and everything and the characters I like because I will say they even though they are children playing the part like the characters are kids of the Percy Jackson show I still like it because they don't make it to TikTok modern cringe kitty. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. Silver. I really want to get a different one, but it's honestly giving mermaid. So I don't care. So cute. Like, I want a Percy Jackson rated R version. That's what I want. Because I just feel like they could do so much with the rated R version. Please, come on. And then with every order, I always give a sticker. For a while, I couldn't afford to get, like, extra goodies. But now I can, so... Remember, like, the stickers that I showed you, like of stuff in like little bottles like little potions look at this one like potions but like different kind like these kinds of potions anyways i really want to give oh this is a good one i really want to give like candy and stuff i just don't want it to melt I still need to order business cards. Maybe I'll make some today online and order them, but I just like haven't gotten around to it. I don't know. I just just like putting it off because I'm um it's the label. I'm honestly putting it off because I really want to put my logo on it, but I need to like draw a logo and I just haven't done that yet here's the label it's very like the pomegranate is very persephone hades inspired okay i'm just gonna sit back here because i want to talk about something really quick so i'm on amazon and i bought this Dela cruz um, I already have it. I'm just re-looking at reviews to like reassure myself. Do you do that? But it's this Dela Cruz. I'll show you. Okay. It's this acne treatment. It's just sulfur, basically. I'm like going to the reviews. I read reviews, obviously, before, but I just need reassurance. Before I put it on my face again. I go to the freaking reviews. 
and the reviews are great and one person gives it a review of like three stars or something out of five and it's because be careful using with jewelry on like it tarnished my jewelry like dude and then I go down and then someone's like I'm not sure um, and then it was basically uh one thing is for sure it definitely smells very strong of sulfur and then gave it like three stars like it's that's because it is sulfur like what the fuck and so you're gonna give it three stars because sulfur smells like sulfur please that's crazy okay anyways we're gonna do it together i'll put some stuff on my face soon it's only 3 40 and i've been working so i also want to clean because my dad's coming tomorrow i just like keep thinking how my boyfriend's watching this yeah okay anyways i'm gonna put the mask on it's so dark and gloomy outside i've never used this before and i'm freaking sick. you did a patch test um I don't I don't do patch tests to be honest and I think that you should do as I say not as I do It really doesn't smell of that bad of sulfur Like it really doesn't Like I can kind of smell it but I have to like try I don't know. I really can't, I can't, it's not hair wash day, so I can't really get this in my hair. Oh my God, it's in my hair. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna leave it on for 10 minutes. It's a lot oilier than I thought it was gonna be it's like it feels like a moisturizer like i feel like people are overreacting about the smell oh my god i got these two makeup products recently and the first one is this fat oil by nyx and i got it in the supermodel shade it's like a hot pink sparkly pink i'm wearing it right now and that's like the only thing i'm wearing and it's so good I feel like it looks really intense hot pink. Like I honestly usually hate hot pink. I like pink, but I like like baby pink. I don't know. I feel like this would work on all shades of skin color. Okay. That's why vlogging is so cringy because you have to do shit like that. But it's so fun, right? It's so fun. So. Anyways, um, and it's even more cringy because my boyfriend's probably watching. But it's so fun. Okay, enough. Okay, bitch. This, I, feel, I do feel that lip oil is more moisturizing depending on the brand. This one's super moisturizing. And if like you don't eat, obviously like it's common sense that like if you wipe a gloss off, it's not like gonna stay. So if you're like eating or drinking or kissing or whatever, then it'll come off. But like, if you're not doing all those things and you're just like working for like five hours or like just whatever, you know what I mean? It stays on like forever, like for so long compared to like all my other glosses. So I don't know, it's really nice. It just, it's fucking juicy. Like, let's do it right now. Like. It looks scary, but it's really not when you put it on. I don't know, color theory maybe, I don't know. I literally, it just is good. And I have really sensitive skin and like sensitive lips. I don't know. Cause sometimes my lips will break out in hives with like certain products, which is crazy. Like the EOS, like the ball shaped lip balm does that and it it's disgusting and i didn't know for a really long time and i like kept using it and it was so gross so i can't i'm just like allergic to the whole eos brand like i'm afraid of them i'm afraid to put them on my skin is that or is that not a juicy lip like what's the definition of juicy if not this 
uh it's like foundation i don't really use like foundation but i've been trying to get more into like eye concealer because it makes me look really i really like the way i look at eye concealer when i have concealer on my eyes i just feel like the concealer on my eyes if i put concealer under my eyes like on my eye bags or whatever i know my bags aren't even that bad i feel like they used to be worse but for some reason i don't know they got better like when i was a teenager they were really bad probably because i get like an adequate amount of sleep now when i put concealer under my eyes it like brings out my eye shape and i really like my eye shape i just wanted to show you what i just got from amazon it just came in the mail um i got these two things and this is like for my skin journey again for my fungal acne because the apple cider vinegar is not working so i got the pure squalene oil i did some research and basically fungal acne feeds on oils but the only oils it doesn't feed on there's like a couple other ones but squalene is one of them i don't even know if i'm saying that right i feel like i am okay we're doing a voiceover i did take an edible so you know this is everything that i made that's on my website right now i love the energy of this i like to show like what everything looks like in different lighting so this is what it looks like in the shade and i'll do that for each one a lot of them are gold plated and a lot of them are gold filled it's just always on the description on the listing i'm obsessed with these raspberries right now just the berries the green the blue the pink and these are bell flowers so pretty it's very spring this is the pomegranate seed one dude i'm sorry if you can hear my stomach like i don't know what's going on this one i'm obsessed with that one's like people's favorite this one's also people's favorite oh there's my dog adorable this is i think there's like one left i called this the winter soul necklace i love it so much with aquamarine look at that shine oh my god and this one's gold filled 18 inch this is so cute there's like a cute little bunny charm and i'm obsessed with the way this looks